42 with 92 RBIs and 36. Pass assault. Swings at the first pitch and fouls deep back into the stand behind the Okay. Who is it, Bobby? Wow, this is a surprise. Fine. Hey, Star. Hey, James. Uh, James, this is my best friend, Langston. Langston, this is... James, hi. I've heard a lot about you. I'm not even going to touch that one. Uh, what are you doing here? Your brother asked Star a question tonight, but she didn't really get a chance to answer it. So we're here to make sure he knows exactly where she stands. What the hell is she talking about? Why would you go see Star in the first place? Was that supposedly when you went for a walk? Is that what he told you? Yeah, Star, he lied to me. No, he came over and asked if things between me and Cole got bad enough that we broke up, if he would have a chance with me. Dude, I told you to stay away from her. Well, if I had told you the truth, you would have stopped me. I wasn't going to let you do that. All right, well, what about you? What's your excuse? Star's my best friend. Yeah, well, your best friend should be able to speak for herself. I will. Don't worry about it. I'm here for backup. And plus, I wanted to meet James for myself. So, James, do you want to hear Star's answer or not? Good not come here, Star. My brother's not interested in you. You don't speak for me, Bob. I'm sorry. I thought Star had a boyfriend and a baby, and I thought you knew that. Yes, he does. Well, then why don't you go back home with baby and boyfriend? Damn right it! You will... Let her say what she came to say. I'm listening. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to take your questions one by one. Do I have doubts about Cole? No, I don't. And if you think that we are going to break up and you are just going to be able to take his place, you couldn't be more wrong. James, I'm sorry to be so blunt. I just figured that I would make a clean break. You asked for a bro. Hope you're satisfied. If there were a word of truth, then sure. Yeah, I'd be satisfied. But I don't believe you, Star. Why would I lie? Let's ask Langston. Langston, what do you think? Is Star happy with Cole? That's not my call. That's Star's. And she already told you. Yeah, but you're her best friend, right? I'm sure you have an opinion about it. I mean, you know the both of them. You even live with them. Are Star and Cole in a good place right now? James... You seem like a really nice guy, but Star and Cole, they're really special. I mean, of all the couples I've ever known, they have what it takes to stay together no matter what. Well, did you mean that? You think I'm a nice guy? Yeah, sure. Then why don't you go out with me? What do you think you're doing, James? What? I'm single. Langston's single. She's hot. What's wrong with getting to know each other better? Well, there are a million other girls you can get to know better. Why her? What's wrong, Bobby? Is she on that list of people I'm supposed to stay away from? I never said that. No. You said she was just another hookup that dragged on too long. I, I don't think that's how I put it. That's what you meant. So if you don't want her, you don't get to weigh in here. So what do you say, Langston? Want to go out? I would love to. Something tells me you'll treat me a lot better than your brother did. Great. I'll give you a call. Langston, what's your number? It's 555-0176. Yeah. <laughs> what? I had to make sure you weren't lying. <laughs> I wouldn't give you a fake number. I'm not like that. Well, good. I'll uh, think about where we might want to go, and when I come up with some options, I'll call you on your non-fake number, and we can make plans from there. That sounds great. I can't wait. I look forward to it. What was that about? What are you talking about? 
talking about? Get you out of the hospital and put a roof over your head and in return you humiliate me. I asked a pretty girl to go out with me. What the hell does that have to do with you? You know my history with Lynx. Yeah, you treated her like crap. And I think that means you don't get to decide what she does or who she sees no, for the you, rest of her life. You did this for two reasons. To stick it to me and to stick it to Star. I don't live my life trying to get back at people, Bobby. That's you. Bull. Bull. Star didn't like you and you couldn't take it. No, I'm not having this conversation. Here's how you could have played it. You, you, you could have waited till Langston went home, looked up her number, and asked her out in private. But instead you had to wait until Star and I were standing right here so you could put on your little show. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. I didn't ask Langston to marry me. I asked her if she wanted to go out sometime. If you want to turn that into a conspiracy, okay, fine. But you're going to have to do it alone. I'm going to bed. You can get that. But if it's Langston, make sure you come get me out of bed.